Hello! Hello my honey bees, it's your girl honey, and today I'm going to be eating tuna kimbap rolls and jumbo cup ramen noodle. So let's dig in because I'm so hungry. I don't know if you guys have tried wang tukong, but it literally translates to king lid. And so it looks like this at the market, but when you open it up and rip the plastic off, it looks like this. So I'm going to be having two of these today. So let's open this up. And inside there are the dried vegetable flakes and the powder. Put it in. This soup is the most refreshing to me and it just tastes the best to me. So I'm going to bring some hot water. Be right back. Up to the line. Close it. We wait. So while that cooks, let's have our sparkling water. Today I'm having lime in our Dodgers cup. Baseball season has started. I know my brother B is super happy. Perfect. Go Dodgers! Cheers! I don't like my noodles too soggy, so I kind of like to just take it out when it's al dente. Ta da! Ooh, look how good that looks, you guys. As you can tell, these noodles have a really thin texture and so they cook very fast. So, let's try it. They usually have these on the bottom section of the ramen noodle section. So let's have our first bite. Honey bite! Woo! I love Wang Tukong. Ta da! Cheers! Super hot. Just how I like it. And then you have some soup. Mmm, hits the spot. <sighs> wow, amazing. Mmm, mmm. And then we have tuna kimbap roll. These are not like sushi rolls, they have more of a flavor to them because everything inside is marinated. Let's have our first bite. Honey bite! Mmm. 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 This combo right here. Brings me back to my childhood because we would go on picnics and we would have kimbap and kump ramen noodles. I know some of you guys are like, how are you going to make kump ramen noodles out of picnic? We would bring hot water in our thermostat cups. And that would keep the water hot. So just put in the kump ramen noodles. It'll cook. And these are perfect because the noodles are really thin. So the water doesn't have to be too hot. Mmm. You know some cup ramen noodles, you can put it in the microwave, but these you can't because these are styrofoam. Have another bite. I love it steaming hot. Mmm. Mmm.
Mm-hmm. Amazing. So I watched my previous videos about the motorcycle and I learned that it is illegal for them to drive in between two vehicles and in between the lanes. And so the next time I see motorcycles do that, I'm going to try to capture their license plate or do something about it because it's so dangerous and it scares me every time they drive by me like that. Let's have another honey bite. Let's do three rolls. Yum, yum, yum. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Tuna kimbap, you have to have kimchi or cup ramen noodles because it could get a little bit, a little bit too tuna y. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. So a lot of you guys commented why I don't talk about my boyfriend or why I haven't been talking about him in my past few videos. Well, I just have other stories to tell you guys that I haven't really talked about him. It's not that we're fighting or we're in bad terms. It's just I have other things going on in my life. He's busy. I'm busy. Mmm. 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 But I did want to ask you guys. We might do a Q&A sometime soon. So if you guys have a question for either me or him or our relationship, you're welcome to ask down in the comments down below. He is pretty camera shy, so he is getting prepared to kind of get on the camera, get comfortable. Mm. Wow. So yummy. But, to tell you a little bit more about my boyfriend. Remember how I told you guys about this fatty lipoma I have in the back of my back? Well, I haven't gotten it removed yet because I want to get it removed in Korea because I feel like they take better care of skincare stuff. So I think I feel a little bit more comfortable getting it done in Korea. But over time, this lipoma, it kind of feels like it's about to explode, right? So it gets a little bit hard. And when it gets to that time, you have to squeeze it out. I'm sorry I'm talking about this while I'm eating. I hope you guys don't get disgusted. But if you get disgusted, well, you guys can click out of the video if you guys want. But I knew he was the one because when this starts to feel like it's about to explode, it starts stinking a little bit, right? Just a little bit, you know? If something gets infected, it smells a little bit. That's what it smells like. And the moment he smelled it, he was like, do you want me to squeeze it for you? And I was like, what? You're willing to squeeze my lipoma for me when it stink like that? And I was just like, okay, you know what? This guy, he is the one. He will squeeze my lipoma for me. And there's no one else that would do that for me. Maybe there is someone out there that would do that for me. But 
as soon as he was offering it and he squeezes my lipomas for me. It's funny because he puts a mask on and he wears glasses, so he's scared that it's going to splash. So sorry if this is making you disgusted. I don't really care what I talk about while I'm eating, so I'm talking about it now. But when he did that, I was like, uh-huh, that's the one. He's the one. <laughs> Love you, boo. I told you guys, he's a very caring person. Not only is he caring to me, but he's caring to everybody, especially to those he cares about. How many times did I say the word care? <laughs> but that's one thing I love about him. Mmm. And another thing he does for me that no one has ever done except for my dad. He cuts my toenails for me. Mm. Mm. I don't know why, but for some reason... I'm really bad at cutting my toes. Every time I cut it, there's like a rigid edge and it always gets stuck on my clothes or my socks. And it hurts. So my dad used to always cut it for me. Now, my boyfriend, he cuts my toenails for me. I never had a boyfriend that did that for me before. One day he looked at my toes and he said, oh, ouch, it's so long. And he was like, you want me to cut it for you? And I was like, really? Or are you joking? And he said, yeah, for real. And I was like, okay. And that angle, when you see him cut your toes, it's just so lovely. Like, there's no way you can't love this person. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. -hmm. Wow. If you guys have a boyfriend or someone you are talking to, what are some things that make you go like, Oh, that's why I fell in love with you, or this is why I love him. Let me know in the comments down below. Mmm. So this cup ramen noodles is one of my favorites. If you ever get to try this, let me know in the comments down below if you guys like it.
I've truly never felt love like this before. But now I feel like, so this is what love is. We don't fight too much. We get into arguments here and there, but what couple doesn't get into arguments, right? But when we do get into fights, it's like once or twice a year, and it's those fights are bigger than our arguments, but we always get through them. He also supports and respects everything I do, which I adore. <laughs> I just learned so much from him, um, I learned how to love through him. It was my dad's 12th year anniversary, um, anniversary or since the day he passed um he asked me to send him some pictures of my dad and I and my brother and I I mean, and my brother and my dad um he surprised me by printing out these pictures and he also wanted to go out to eat my dad's favorite food which was sushi and sashimi and he also paid for it and he's like this is the first time I'm paying for, you know, your dad's meal and I want to do this for you guys and your dad every year. And so I was so touched and I'm just so grateful for him. If you guys have any love stories and if you guys want to talk about your boyfriend or your loving husbands, let me know in the comments down below and I would love to read about them. And this is going to be my last bye! much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please go and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and to become a honey bee and like this video if you guys liked it and i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye, -bye.